YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Will, back in the building with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Yo, so today we are checking out the Mayono Caster G1 Neo, which is a audio interface slash mixer. The G1 Neo is designed for gamers, streamers, and content creators who want to take their audio game to the next level. Key features with this mixer is XLR input support, you have 12 different RGB light modes, you have side chain effect, real-time audio monitoring, reverb effect, noise reduction, and so much more. This mixer retails for about 70 bucks, but you can pretty much always catch this on sale for around 50 bucks. In this video, I'll be testing out the Mayano Caster G1 Neo, testing out all of its features, sharing some pros, cons, and also comparing it to the Fafon SC3, which is something very similar to this mixer in the same price range. Mayano did provide this mixer for this review, but like all videos on my channel, everything in this video is my opinions and what I think about the product. My goal here with my channel is to provide you guys with resources when it comes to budget tech content creation and filmmaking gear if that's something you're into make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so that way you can come back and hang out and check out future videos let's go ahead jump into the unboxing to see all of what this audio mixer has to offer let's go first thing you get out of the box is going to be your user manual and inside here you'll find all of the context that you need to get this set up and hooked up and working next thing you got here is your quick tip guide next you're going to get your USB-C to USB-A cable I really love that this actually has the adapter on it so you can go C to C or you can go C to A next thing you're going to get out of the box is the 3.5 TRRS audio cable. And the last thing is gonna be your G1 Neo audio mixer slash interface. They make this in a matte black finish and also a white finish, which is great because it pretty much can fit in any color scheme of setup. This audio mixer is minimalistic and has a sleek design. It's actually super compact, so it's not gonna take up much space on your desk. Faders have some give to it, moving it up and down, which feel like great quality. Same for the knobs and the button. Feels like it's made pretty well, especially for it to be like a budget device. On the back, you can find all of the IO of the mixer. You have a power button, USB-C power port, 5 volt data interface, input, 3.5 millimeter line out for speakers, 3.5 jack for audio headphones, 3.5 aux input, you have a headset input, and your XLR slash quarter inch combo port. Quick note, you can't use the headset input and XLR input at the same time. On the bottom, you have four little soft pads, and you have a tripod mount, which I think is pretty cool. If you needed to, you can actually kind of mount this on like a mic stand. You can also see the transparency little ring that wraps around and this is where the LEDs will shine through. LEDs also light up on all of the buttons as well. Let's go ahead, hop over to the computer, plug this in so we can check out more of the functionality. When using this into a computer, you have to plug into this computer slot. This is the actual audio interface. The other one is power only and as you can see it does like this cool little startup light show for my mic of choice i'm going to be using the uh mayono pd what is this called again pd 100x i just did a full review on this microphone if you guys are interested in checking it out this is like the dynamic duo when it comes to like a good starter pack together i think you can get both of these for about a hundred bucks this is what the microphone sounds like via usb mic check one, two, one, two, three, four. Hey, 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 hey. So that's what this sounds like using USB. I just switched to XLR using the G1 Neo now. That's what this sounds like with an audio interface. So you be the judge to say, did the audio interface make the audio sound more crispy or no? So we're gonna start at the top left of this audio interface. Right here, this is your 48 volt. This is for phantom power, only for condenser microphones. Next button to the right is a Bluetooth button. And as you see, it's kind of flashing right now, which means it's discoverable. You can select and hold this down to turn it off. And it actually tells you in the headphones if it's on or off. On iPhone, you would just go to discover devices and you can see Mayono Caster G1 Neo. I could adjust volume right here from my phone. One thing I really like about this Bluetooth is there's like really no delay low key. Some of the key features here with this microphone is the included tabletop stand. Of course, you got your RGB functionality with the colors. You also have XLR and USB input. I can actually turn Bluetooth volume up or down from my phone and 
then it can be controlled by this fader here. This music fader here is to control the sound coming in, whether that be via Bluetooth, the aux jack, or even um, just playing sound from your computer. The next side right here, this is gonna be my microphone volume. If I turn this, by turning it back up, you can hear me again. On the fader right here, you can see like where my levels are. So it shows zero and it goes up to number eight. And that is the volume. You know you're peaking when you get like, you see that orange, yellow, that's when you know it's kind of too loud and then you kind of need to back off. Pretty much want to be like at a little bit yellow and mostly in green. Below is the mute button for my music coming in and then also mute button for the microphone. So this knob right here is the gain knob and you would adjust this to control the gain of the microphone. Pro tip here that I learned is that putting this gain knob at about 75% of the way, it's kind of the sweet spot and then you just wanna ride the fader to get your sound up to about like a little bit above negative six, negative three-ish. The next button here is gonna be the reverb. As I turn it, you can already hear. Hey, it makes it sound like you're in like a super big room, like an echoey space. Let's say like you won the game, you could turn the reverb. Yes, I won, woo! You know, you could do something like that maybe. The next knob here is gonna be your headphone. Sweet spot here is uh, maybe about three o'clock for me. The next button here is gonna be noise reduction. A few minutes ago, I could hear myself in the background a little bit. Just sounds like I hear myself through the microphone. So this is the high setting. It still sounds pretty good. It maybe sounds like the high pitch in my voice maybe got affected a little bit by the noise cancellation. I think the best noise cancellation here would be like the low setting. I feel like it doesn't affect my voice as much. When you press the button, it lets you know in the headphones if you're on noise cancellation, low or high. And you can also tell white means low and then blue means high let's say you had some pc fans in your room or maybe some ambience going on outside i feel like this makes me more immersed into like the computer or the game another cool feature here is going to be side chain what side chain basically does is it dips the music down when i start talking in the microphone and then when i be quiet it does this So it's actually kind of cool in a way, like, um, I feel like it does a pretty good job of like, as soon as I stop talking, the music just fades back up. This goes for any music coming in. Right now I'm playing music via Bluetooth. So anything that comes through this fader dips with side chain when I talk. Pretty nifty feature, right? The next button is gonna be voice changer. So let's test it out. This is the female voice changer. Now I sound girly, I guess. Really fun, different ways to have fun while you're having fun. What? This is the male voice. Testing one, two. Hello, I am a man. Ha, ra. This is super dope. This is the baby voice, and this is a test of that. I don't know if this is how a baby sounds, but uh, you get it, different voice. This is Robot, and it's pretty cool. Um, I could definitely, again, see you messing with somebody with the robot voice, the male, female, and baby. All right, that's it super fun and you can actually do a uh, voice changer with reverb too so if you wanted to add reverb and your mail you can do it super fun stuff right like come on guys 50 bucks you really can't beat all of these really cool features the next thing here is going to be direct monitor as i have this button lit up and i'm talking i can hear myself in real time through the headphones. If I select that off, I can't hear myself. You guys can only hear me. Probably will want this to be lit so you can pretty much listen to yourself before it goes out. So if there's an issue with your microphone or something, you would know. 
The next thing is the four custom preset buttons. You can put sounds on these little sound pads. Okay, yeah, so I stored that one right there. What's this? Okay, I stored that one. And I stored that. And I think I added something there too. To record on these sound buttons, you're gonna hold this down so it starts blinking fast. Then you're gonna tap it. And then now it's recording whatever I'm either playing on my computer or I'm saying into the microphone. And I think it records up to about 20 seconds of audio that we're gonna figure out in just a second when it stops blinking. You're gonna tap it and then now it's recording whatever I'm either playing on my computer or I'm saying into the microphone. And I think it records up to about 20 seconds of audio that we're gonna figure out in just a second when it stops blinking. Is it gonna stop blinking? Let's say if you wanted to oh program God. these little memes, all I did was uh, I went to YouTube and I typed in meme sound effects. Then I played back the meme and then it recorded onto the button and then now I got that. Who doesn't love custom buttons? Lastly, it's gonna be the RGB mode. You can always just hold this down to turn RGB mode off or you can press to toggle between the few different modes that this has. First mode is the RGB mode where it pretty much just does this super rainbow color effect. This is like an RGB mode as well, where it's turning the different colors in a sequence uh, flowing through the device. The next is the solid colors. You have purple, blue, red, magenta, and then you have green. Then if you press it again, now it's doing a fade RGB mode. It's basically gonna fade between all of those uh, purple, blue, red, magenta, and green colors. The next is gonna be the solid fade. It's gonna go between blue, red, magenta, and green of uh, just kind of doing the fade of that one color over and over. As you can see, is the red, magenta, and then you have green. Press again and it turns off and it recycles back to the original RGB mode. And it does it very subtle. There is no brightness level to this. It's just on or off. Just looking at these both, side to side comparison. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to compare the XLR preamp. They're both pretty decent. I think it's more about the look and feel and the options between these two. The SC3 to me looks cheaper sitting next to the G1 Neo Pro and that's just my opinion. When it comes to doing the same thing, both of these devices have voice changing effects. They both have four custom buttons, line inputs, real-time audio monitoring, and of course the RGB modes. The SC3 does have electronic buttons like the auto-tune. It does have that one extra effect. Now the G1 Neo does have Bluetooth, also has side chain, and it has noise reduction. And last but not least, it has the reverb. That's where this one shines versus the SC3. This is also compatible with PS5, Xbox One with a special cable. You can use this on PC, uh, Mac. You can even use this on your smartphone as well. It may not have like as many advanced features as like the Go XLR or like the Rode Podcaster, but for what it's worth of 50 bucks, I feel like you're getting a really solid, well thought out engineered piece of audio technology. The only, I guess, drawback that I could say about this, I feel like this fader situation i don't know if i like the way the light interact and i feel like i'm just being nitpicky other thing that was a little disappointing to me is that this isn't compatible with the mayono link software the review i did on this microphone i did like a demo of the software and it's super cool by like adding like eq effects compressors limiters it would have been super nice for this to be compatible with that i do have a an affiliate link which will save you some money and give me a small commission. So if you wanna look me out and also save you some money, I got you, links down in the description. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, please don't forget to leave your boy a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'ma holla at y'all next time in my next video. Deuces.